beautiful people welcome back to the overwhelmed woman i'm emma and um i thought i'd share my take on is it okay to be resentful of things that happen in your life and that also uh, extends to looking after a loved one who is not very well and um this has come at the most ironic time for me because i've just today just this minute received a little pack through the door from the charity mind i don't know where it's come from or who sent it um but it says sharing has always been a key to improving our well-being and self-esteem and um on that track i thought i'd share this little story because as we speak uh, my husband is spending his third day in hospital waiting to see if he can have a procedure to sort to help um sort out an on, a long-term problem that he's had with his heart and um we're on january sorry we're on february the 17th i think i've lost track of time to be honest and he has been into hospital three times already since january and in the 16 years we've been together he's had two open heart surgeries more procedures than I care to remember and he's been defibbed like something off casualty um 17 times six of those have been since July of last year so to say he's shot to pieces uh physically a bit emotionally is an understatement and um he said to me the other day I bet you're glad you met me, aren't you? And, you know, we both had a giggle and I said, oh, I wouldn't change a thing. But I knew what he was getting at. And he was basically alluding to, you know, your life isn't how you thought it was going to be. And he's right. You know, it isn't. Um, I don't quite know what I thought my life was going to be like. But over the years, uh, my husband's illness has impacted us both massively um it's affected our ability to earn money um where we live how we live not being able to do things that a lot of other families might take for granted um you know we've done we've done things obviously but not like we would have liked to so holidays and going out for meals and days out and all that kind of stuff has been something that have been very very few and far between in the grand scheme of things and um and also it has affected my physical and mental well-being as well um being that person to try and keep it together when things are tough and worrying about money and always trying to fast forward my thoughts on how are we going to get through what's going to happen and all those awful scenarios that start playing out in your mind that you don't want to think about um and it has been really hard for all of us for both of us but you know what is it okay to feel resentful yes it is and the reason for that is if you don't acknowledge that you are resentful that can cause so many other ripples that can actually it caused relationships to implode and that has happened to me a couple of times in my life before I met my husband. Um, I've been married before, I've been engaged before and um, I've been in relationships where I've just had so much thrown at me and it hasn't always been the other person's fault by the way but I've allowed resentment to creep in and keep on creeping in and keeping on creeping in to the point where I've gone, Do you know what, I've had enough, I'm going and um, I've learned that you have to acknowledge resentment to keep keeping on. It's a really important part of dealing with whatever you're dealing with. But for me, when I think about do I feel resentful about the life I chose, hand on my heart, no I don't. Because we've had a real rough ride, my husband and I, but meeting him has also given me some of the greatest blessings that I have so we have our daughter um I know for a fact that I would have been a much more selfish person if I hadn't have been with my husband and I would have also been a much more shallow person um material wealth would have mattered to me a lot more than it does now and um 
I don't think I'd ever really have been satisfied with what I've got and um, when I look at the life I've got with my husband I have peace in a weirdly a sense of peace I've never had before I know my husband hands down I, I believe in my heart of hearts would never betray me um, loves me respects me we are very much a united front and our values are absolutely the same and he brings me what he what basically he brings into my life hands down outweighs all the stuff that we find difficult together and when we got married I said a little speech and I said, you know, an analogy of our relationship is that we often feel like we're in a stormy sea, in a little paddle, in a little boat, and the oars have just gone overboard and we're just at the mercy of everything else that goes on. And that still stands. But um, what I resent is seeing him go through so much. And I think when you can find positives in whatever situation you're in and you start finding gratitude and I know we hear it a lot of stuff is banged on about being grateful all the time but it's so true and it's so intrinsically linked to your happiness because fundamentally meeting my husband Jay was and continues to be the greatest blessing in my life and obviously my daughter is part of that but for me Jay will always be on that pedestal because I wouldn't even have had my daughter without having him in my life so yes I get resentful at times yes you know even now I'm just thinking god please you know please just give us a break you know over the years neighbours have there's what one time our neighbours paid our mortgage for us and friends have had to help and We've just felt constantly like it's two steps forward, three steps back. Even today, you know, we're waiting to see if he can have yet another procedure to try to help him. And we have no idea. So he spent the last three days with his heart banging about at 170 beats a minute or something crazy. And he's mentally and physically shattered. But you know what? We will keep on keeping on. And I've spent all day yesterday moping listen oh look hold on sorry i'm back i was just on that cusp of having a little emotional meltdown but um yeah i'm back um what i was going to say is that i've spent the last few days feeling more fragile than normal um so this little pack from mind couldn't have come at a better time and uh i I'm kind of I need it to go through that I need it to sit with those or uncomfortable and horrible scary thoughts because that is part of you being able to get back on track and keep on keeping on and and often we shove things under the carpet and that just comes back to bite us in the bum mentally or physically at a later date so um yeah I I'm going to try and it's half term now so I'm going to try and prize my daughter away from the computer so wish me luck there um, because she's stomping around like Kevin the teenager at the moment um, and I have had a shower and I've put a ton of makeup on and some lovely perfume I'm going to go and get a cup of tea and I'm going to go and attack my degree which I am three quarters of the way through and I am going to be welcoming my husband when he gets home at whatever point that is with open arms and lots of gratitude and I guess what I'm trying to say as I sum all this up is life often throws us curveballs that we can't do a lot about but I promise you there will be so many reasons within all of that stuff to feel grateful and there will be blessings within it and I have been blessed hands down every day since the day I met my lovely lovely Jay so keep keeping on beautiful people if you're overwhelmed you're not alone we're all overwhelmed together just doing the best we can and until next time now i'm gonna go and get a cup of tea